Good afternoon, Greed Eat. How are you doing today? I trust that you're doing well. Yes, thanks for asking. I'm doing well myself. Now, how was your weekend? What did you do? Okay, play video game, no reading. Okay. All right, so we are moving on because the time is flying so fast. Can you imagine it's already on February 15? Yes, it is. The time is moving quickly. So go ahead, grab your books, your pen, whatever tool that you need for class today. We are moving on. Now, we're looking at sentence structures today. In particular, we're looking at dash, that specific sentence. So we're looking at dash sentence. Yes, I know that you were thinking about it. That is what I like when you think. Yes. All right. So to arrive at this uh, topic, we are going to play a game. Are you ready? Yes, you're excited about the game? All right. So I'm going to share with you, I'm going to share with you a link. When I share this link with you, let me just uh, copy and paste this link. I'm going to place it in the chat. So when I click on it, just go ahead. I think it's already there, but let me resend it as well. So go ahead and click on this uh, link. I'm also going to do the same. So click on the link. All right, so let us wait a bit. All right, so I think we're there. So let me just get started with this. I'm going to provide you with a code in order for you to access um, the game. All right, it's generating the pin. So let's wait a bit. All right, so go ahead and type in this information. So that's five, five, three, seven, eight, four, seven. All right, so Daniel, you're there already? Mm-hmm, okay. All right, so let's get, let us start this game. So a sentence structure, you have 20 seconds to answer. Have fun. Okay, the next. Number two. Are these sentences? Ashley walks to the park. True or false? Six seconds to go. So the answer there. All right. And the last one. Daniel, you're doing well. Okay. All right. So Daniel, you're a winner. Awesome job. Awesome. All right. So what are we talking about? 
All right, let me get this off the screen. Let me stop sharing this. I see you're excited. Awesome. All right, so remember that the link will always be there. So you can go back and, and, and click on it. You can uh, access this game for those of us who need that information, all right? Now, what I want for us to do is jump out. Just if you're going to send me um, in the chat, what, were, what are we talking about today? Awesome job. We're talking about simple sentence yes indeed we're talking about the simple sentence all right so i'm going to share with you i'm going to write a sentence on the screen and when i go ahead and do that i want for you to tell me what you observe about this sentence so let me get my screen let me get my screen so i can go ahead and write this sentence for you all right i think my screen is coming up nicely so i'm going to share with you again my screen so focus focus on this sentence on the board let me just go ahead and write it all right so it says The minister meets mm -hmm. the T H E villagers V I L L okay A G E R villagers weekly. All right, so look at this sentence. What do you observe about it? What do you observe about this sentence? Anything at all? What comes to mind? Beautiful. So when we think about this sentence, when we look at it, indeed, you are correct, Ashley. So it it is a simple sentence. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, why do you say that, though? Would you care to share um, why, why, why do you say it's a simple sentence? Say it again. Awesome job. I love this. So you are saying because it has a subject okay it has a subject you see i'm writing this ashley says it has a subject okay and it also has a big word mm -hmm. predicate take note of the spelling people mm -hmm. so it has a predicate let me just rewrite that C. Awesome job. All right. So when we talk about a simple sentence, you realize it contains a subject and indeed it has a predicate. All right. So let us sit back and listen to the explanation for this all right so again i'm going to share with you a link and what i want for you to bear in mind what i want for you to bear in mind just before i do that um it is always my pleasure to share with you the objective so you keep it in mind so for this session you should know what um, a simple sentence is, what it means. You should be able to distinguish, you see, Ashley? Yes, between the subject and the predicate. And you should be able to identify the subject and the predicate in a sentence. So it comes in the right time. So pay attention to, to that as we uh, 
go along. All right. So let me share with you another uh, sentence. Let's just look at some random examples for a simple sentence. You're saying something? No, miss? All right. So look at, let us look at this sentence. Let me share it on the screen as well. Let me change my highlight all. So let me write this sentence. So the customers stand mm -hmm. in line all right so how about this sentence what do you think about it what do you think about this sentence the customers stand in a line so indeed again it has a subject and a predicate all right so we are not going to highlight the subject and the predicate just yet all right so let us listen to this uh information so what i want for you to bear in mind as i go ahead and send you the link i ensure that this is a platform where you will always have the information all right so once you click you click on the link you will be able to access this information anytime that you want so I'm going to post it in the link, in the chat rather. So let's click on this. Click on the link as I share it with you. All right, it will take you automatically to the page. So you will have this right throughout as your uh, platform. So we are using this code. So just in case it asks for a code, you can go ahead and insert this information. All right, and you'll be able to view it as a student. Now we're looking at simple sentences, all right? And I know, th I know that some of us, we're still not sure yet how to formulate them, how to identify and so forth. So let us go and take an example, not an example, let us go rather to the video so we can get some clarification on this. All right, so let's go. Let me open this. All right, so let me double check on this. Hello, Adam. Welcome. I know that some of us are a bit confused worried not sure what to do when it comes down to simple sentences <laughs> cheer up i am here to help you now when we talk about a sentence that's the first thing that you want to find out you want to remember a sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought every sentence has a subject and a predicate. Do you remember about subject and predicate? Not sure? We will touch on that. A simple sentence contains just one thought or an idea. Let's backtrack a little bit. The subject usually contains the main subject or known. And the predicate, it tells what the subject is doing, which contains the verb of the sentence. All right. Let us just roll back to that Kahu game. Do you remember the sentences? I'm pretty sure you don't. Let us recap on them. Now, the first sentence, it says, Ashley walks to the park. To the park. Now, is that a complete sentence? Is that a complete thought? 
Yes, it is. The second sentence, it says, she takes a friend with her. Is that a complete thought? Indeed, it is lovely. Great job. And the third one says, climb a tree. Hmm, climb a tree. Is that a complete thought? Indeed, it is not. Yes, so both number one and number two are sentences. But number three, it is not a sentence. Why? It does not express a complete thought. Now, we wonder, who climbs the tree and why? Yes? So by adding some more words, we could make a complete sentence. Try it out for me. Try to add a subject to our climate tree, to that predicate. My sentence is, Ashley and her friend climb a tree. Yes, so Ashley and her friend climb a tree. Now, every sentence has a subject. For example, again, Ashley and her friend and the predicate climb a tree. Now, the subject usually contains the main subject or known. And the predicate tells what the subject is doing, which contains the verb of a sentence. So again, in the first sentence where it says, Ashley walks to the park, the subject there is Ashley. And the predicate, which tells what the sentence is doing, what the subject is doing in the sentence is, walks to the park. Yes, and also she takes a friend with her. What's the subject there? Who are we talking about? She, beautiful. And the follow-up there would be the predicate takes a friend with her. Now, just to remind you, when we talk about these simple sentences, remember, when you're writing a sentence, you must remember some pretty simple rules. Every sentence must begin with a capital letter. Ensure that you use your capital letters, yes? And remember, always end with your punctuation mark. Remember, we touched on punctuation marks in previous classes. Yes, so re-watch the videos if you need to. So you must use different marks. For example, the period. So you use it at the end of a sentence uh, to tell about something or to make a statement. Also, we use the question mark when we're asking a question. And the last one I'm going to remind us about, which you know all the punctuation marks we've gone through. Remember, the exclamation mark oh, shows how excited you are, that excitement. So just as though I am happy to be explaining about the simple sentences. And just to recap again, just to shed some light on this, you were asked about a sentence to observe. And it reads about the minister meets what did it say? The minister meets the villagers weekly. Now, I want for you to break this down a little bit. Let us look at this. So you're able to see that the simple sentence, it has the subject, which would be the minister. It has the verb, and remember verbs are what? Yes, talking about the action and the object there, the villagers. So the subject of this sentence really is the minister and the follow-up would have been the predicate because it is telling us what the minister is actually doing. All right? So I trust that this explanation was helpful for you. When you're writing, remember your subject and the follow-up, which is your predicate. Bye for now. All right. So I trust that you were paying attention and listening and taking your notes accordingly. Yes. 
So remember that you will always have access to that information. Just remember the the link that I've sent in the chat in the chat. All right. Are you ready now to do some activities? Ready for work? Yes? No? All right. So let's get started. Now, for your activity, we're going to work on this together. Yes? So I'm going to use my random call card. So I mean that all of us should actually be on point. All of us should be thinking and working. And you don't know who, the, who I'm going to call. So might as well you get prepared. All right. So I'm going to use... I'm going to call you randomly, as I said. So you're going to write a simple sentence. I know some of us maybe have challenge to really write on the screen. If you don't know how to, I can, you can tell me the sentence and I can write it for you. But you're going to identify the subject of, uh, of the sentence, which you have given, and also the predicate. All right? Are you ready? Let's go. So let me see. Marshall, your name actually comes up first. Marshall. So go ahead, Marsha, and tell me your sentence. Okay. Not hearing you, Marsha. You need to speak up. So the bird flew over the tree. All right, let me just write it on the screen. Man, I can take this off the screen. Okay, so let me just take this off. All right, so the bird, let me get that on the screen. B I R. Flew over the Did I write this sentence already though, Marshall? No, yes, never did. Okay, Marsha, not a problem. All right, so what is the subject here, Marsha? Go ahead with the subject. Oh, this should be birds. So the birds, okay, flew over the tree. So the subject here is what? All right. The main subject would be, let me use a different highlighter. The main subject here would be the bird... Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a big S for subject. And what? The predicate would be flew over the tree. Awesome job. All right. So let me select again. So, yeah, Malachi. Malachi, go ahead with yours. Malachi, go ahead with yours. I'm listening. You're still thinking? All right, I'm coming back to you, Malikai. I am coming back to you. Let me go again. Sarah, Sarah, go ahead with yours. All right, so let's go. The, all right. The, you said swam, okay. They swam in, okay, in the ocean. You realize I'm using my punctuation marks. Always remember that as was stated, yes? So what is the, the, the subject here? All right, so the subject indeed it is. All right, so the subject is they. Who are they? They. And what did they do? They swam mm -hmm, in the ocean. Awesome. So they being the subject and 
swarming the ocean being the predicate. All right, so who I'm going to call again? Let's see. Let us see. Aaron, Aaron, provide me with a sentence. Go ahead, Aaron. Wait, let me go back to my screen. All right, so you're saying, say that again. Okay, so the train was late, all right. The train, and that spelling is what? T-R-A-I-N. Beautiful. So the train was W A S was late. All right. So what is the subject here? What is the subject there? All right, what are you talking about here, Aaron? Right, you're talking about the train. So that is that would be the main um, known that you're talking about. The main thing that you're talking about is, is, is the subject. Understand? So in this simple sentence, the train would be the subject. Everybody is following? Awesome. And was late would be the predicate. Awesome. So we get the gist of that. All right. I'm going to take just one more. One more. So let me take one more. Let me see whose name is going to come up. Let me just. Keisha. Yes, Keisha, your turn. Go ahead. Say that again for me, Keisha. I should give you a second. Okay, go out, take it. Take, I'm giving you a second. These are the top results. All right, so let's go. Let us go. All right, so let me just take this off the screen so I can have more space there. All right. So you're seeing Joe. Mm -hmm. See, we're working with the train today. So Joe waited for the train TR All right so what is the subject here beautiful joe mm -hmm, being the subject mm -hmm. you're doing it oh you're doing it as it was done on the video all right, so this would be the verb, okay, and, okay, talking about what, the object, object, okay, but all together, this would be the predicate, right? Okay, okay, I like that, I like that, awesome job, all right, so for those of us whose name haven't been called. Write your sentences in your book or on the screen, all right? I'm going to follow up with them. Now, for your assignment, yes, for your assignment, what you're going to do for me, right? For your assignment, let me share with you on the screen. Now, you're going to make 
simple sentences using the subject words. And here are the subject words, the birds, the actor, and Rihanna. You're going to use verbs, climb, stand, climbed, made. You're going to use phrases as well. And you're going to use them to make your own simple, meaningful sentences. All right, ensure that you take them off the screen. Better yet, I'm going to send them in the, the chat so you're able to quickly um, have access to this information. So let me go ahead and post it in the chat. All right, so your assignment has been posted. So feel free to share with me any uh, questions that you have, any concerns, and I promise I will answer them accordingly. So again, it was a pleasure being with you, and I'm saying bye for now.